hi everyone welcome back to my channel this video is all about how to use pdf invoice library that i have created i'm assuming you must have seen my previous video regarding how to create pdf invoice using java it was very difficult and time consuming to write the entire code and doing lot of configuration like setting up pdf document width of the pdf size of the pdf that is like in setting the pdf size to a4 or different size and also like it's very difficult to find the position of the content inside the pdf so like means if you can see this uh, company so i need to place it here i need to place so the, it's difficult to like means have a width and size uh, adding those things it was it difficult so what i did like means i'm created a library so in that library you don't need to require do all the all kind of configuration so the only things that you need to do is just provide the data that you want to print in the pdf invoice and your invoice will be ready so whenever i will tell like uh, whenever i say the about the data the data means like uh, here you can see customer name address and address of this billing information product details and whatever the terms and condition so that will be different for different person so this is these are the data that you need to provide so this so only thing you require is this data so let's uh, see about uh, how we can use this library so this is the github url for this library and i will be pasting this url in the description of this video so let's see how this entire thing works so if you can see this is the maven dependency that you need to so for this uh, unique you, you can have one maven project and just add this dependency so all the jars related to this invoice creator will be added into in, uh, in your project and if you are using uh, android studio or like android studio or you are using a gradle uh, project so you can use the, uh, this implementation i have also pasted one sample code so uh, if you get started then you can just simply copy this this code and just paste it and you are ready to generate the code generate the video invoice so this is the only code that you have to write so this much code you have to write and uh, your invoice will be created so now let's jump back to the intellij for a demo so that let me i will explain what what are the things that are present and what you require to insert so here i will be making an maven project so let's start with that one you can also create any other project also like a gradle and all and then once this project is created so you, here you can see this is the palm.xml so i will be adding one class here so that i can write the code and then just run this one I will be making it main class. Okay, now just go back to this sample part. So here we can just copy the entire thing. So from the top till the import part, also I'm just copying it. Okay, so. okay okay so here you can see you are getting there because this library is not yet present in your project so what we need to do we need to add those dependency so for i'm just using a map and dependency so i will be adding this dependency so just add so you can see this is dependency that should come inside depend parent dependency so i will be adding that inside this one so inside this dependency i have added one my own dependency so this is the only dependency that you need to add and then i will be loading this maven so all the jars related to my this 
invoice will be downloaded and once it's downloaded you can see so everything the error that was coming earlier is gone now now we will see about like uh, the in-depth how we are using this code of this class coding error pdf invoice so th this class you have to make uh, you have to make the object of this one and uh, in the in the parameter you need you re to required to pass the pdf name so uh, in my case what i did is like means i have uh, uh, taken the local date and added dot pdf here so that my na name of my pdf will be something like this if you can see this uh, the date dot pdf will be there so i have uh, so i have created the object of pdf coding error pdf inverse creator and once the object is created we need to call this uh, create document so this create document method what it will do it will do a setup uh, of creating the document and also it will set some uh, predefined width of the width of the pdf also it will say, set the size of the pdf like a4 currently the uh, uh, currently the size of the pdf is a4 but in future i will try to make it dynamic dynamically so that we can pass it into the parameter and then after once we have done with that creation of the document now we have the document and we need to write all those details that we require so i have segregated all the part in different section so let me walk you through that particular section so here you can see so this invoice is in divided into four part first one is header second is kind of shipping and billing info kind of thing and the third part will be product and fourth is terms and condition so we will be creating uh, each section one by one and we will be adding those section into the document so let's start with header section so for each section we have a different class associated with the that section so header details is associated with headers part so we will be creating the object of header details and here we have to pass some data like means invoice number and then invoice date so if you can see we have only two data that we required which will be different for each each user or everything so we need to provide only those those two data but apart from that these two data so we have the bold color text so like invoice title is there this is invoice title this is invoice number invoice date text so all so in all the classes there will be some there will be two kind of field so one will be fixed and the second will be get getting changed so uh, the right part or if you can see this customer name will get changed for every customer but this name will be constant but i have made something like that like means if you want to change this part also like someone want like i don't want invoice i want my invoice or anything else apart from that or if you uh, you don't require invoice no no you require invoice n u m b r invoice number so you can change that also so if you go to this header details so there are total around what i can say one two three four five so five fields are there so for some of the fields that is fixed i have done the constant like it will be same always so invoice num invoice invoice number and then invoice date so i have fixed this uh, this text but at any time you want to change if you want to change then you can simply add this into this this object like set invoice title so if you want to set if you want to set the invoice title so you can do like this my so uh, and same thing will be happening to all other section also so if you want to change from here company to different thing different text you can simply write like simply write the text of that one so you can find the details of that text all the text in that in this particular class so address details if you open you will be finding all the constant part is like this and the value part will be something like empty so if you are not providing any data though 
the default will be empty and if you're not providing any data to this text test, the it will be taken from the constant and it's applicable to all the classes so once you are done with the creation of the object you simply need to call create header method inside this object so this is the object and you need to call the create header and just pass the header object so now once you done this part the header will be created and now we will be looking into the address part so same thing you have to create the address detail so here also you can say set billing company and if you want to change the billing company text also then you can simply set set billing billing company text so for all like here you can write company name so you can change change this this also like the bold one the company it here it will come as a company name and the value whatever you have written so you have a liberty to change that text also but uh, often um, most of the time we will not be doing so i am not just add, added as in the default part and it will be added automatically if you if you are not setting those thing so once you are done with the address detail just call this create address uh, method and the address will be added now now there are some some option that we have provided in product part so in product header if you can uh, see this product header part so it will be this part so description quantity and price price is the part of this product table header so here you can see i have added like if i remove this one so it will be something like this product table header and i will just add adding it to the create table header because most of the case we will be requiring the same so description quantity and price it will be same so if if it's same then we don't need to provide any data here and if it's different or if you want to change that thing then we can do the same so all these classes are following a builder design pattern so if you can see so we have to set the data and at the end we need to call this build method so uh, whenever you can see i have created this object and after setting we need to uh, call this build so so this this object will be created and the data will be set on that particular object so uh, in all the classes it's following builder design pattern so now our header is created and after that we have to take the list of products so product list currently i have made one dummy product list class object means method so where from where we can get this some dummy uh, product list we will be getting so you can use the same or or like means you, uh, from here uh, this uh, you will be fetching the data from the database or anywhere else so there will be some method that you might be creating so it will be diff it will be uh, your application depend upon your application uh, from where you want to get that product list once you get the product list i am calling this modify product list so what it will do is like means if you can see this list page so i have added apple two times so if you are directly going to write this list into the pdf page what it will do like means it will first have one apple here so here you can see apple will be there and then in the last also one apple will be there uh, in first the quantity will be two and second the quantity will be five so it there will be two apple whereas we don't require that kind of thing we require something like apple will be only once and the, all the quantity will be added so that thing i have done in this part that thing i have done in this product select like modify product list so it will return a product list with a single name and the quantity will be added on that one so once we are done with this product list part then we have to call this create product method so now whenever we are calling any method then only this uh, part will be added in your document so or in pdf so now create once we once we call this create product which means like means our product 
is inserted into the PDF. And now we have a last part that is terms and condition. So I have just I've just taken the list of string and there I have set the terms and conditions. So I have, right now I have just set it only two terms and condition. And here I can you can see I have provided the path of logo. So if you can see the PDF, so there is one watermark. Uh, background you can see that coding error image is there so that image I'm taking from this path and once you and uh, if you can see I have taken the path from SRC main resource this one so I have just added one logo here and in resource folder if you are having uh, adding an image in different path you can just provide the exact path of that particular image and after that i have just called this create uh, tnc method so in create tnc method first parameter it requires the list of the terms and condition then we have in the last we have path of the image so the path of the image is this one and and second parameter is false so here if you, if i open this one create terms and condition so here you can see last page boolean is there so what it will do is like means it will it will add terms and condition in two two ways so the, if you have provided if you have provided here at as a true true then what it will do it uh, first thing it will not have this uh, background image first thing that it will not have background image and this terms and condition will be added on each page like means it will be added on the on the last of that like means whenever this product will end so let's suppose our invoice uh, are in two pages so wherever this 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 it will end it will add the terms and condition in that uh, that that page only so like if it's ending in sec uh, middle of the second page so the terms and condition will be just after that but we don't require that thing so terms and conditions will always be there in the bottom side and so for that purpose i have made like this so whenever you are passing as a false which it which it means like it will be adding the terms and condition only at the last page of uh, last part of the last page so if there is four pages then it will be adding terms and condition only at the fourth page at the bottom of that one so i recommend to use this only otherwise it will not look good like means if the product gets increases then the terms and condition will be in the middle of the page so that will not look good so so i recommend to use the same thing like means false and as of now like means there is only one template so this is the template that you are seeing but in future i will be trying to release some new new template and also i am just thinking to reduce the size of this part so that i will be doing later and you can find the update update like means currently the version is that one one point zero point one so uh, i will be updating this library and you can find like means whenever the latest update is there you can just uh, use those thing yeah that's it from this particular video thank you for watching